In today's video, I'm going to review the McKenzie Soil Test Kit. I'll tell you about the kit, show you how to use it, and then I'll compare the results to results that I got from a professional soil testing lab. The kit will measure potassium, phosphorus, nitrogen, and pH. The kit includes the tests, instructions, and enough chemicals to do one soil sample. It costs about $5. Now that's cheaper than a lab test, but it is more expensive than other home kits like this. Some of these kits come with chemicals for several tests, like the Rappi test. And the cost for it on a per sample basis is about 50 cents. So this kit's fairly expensive. Everything is color coded so it's easy to use. So you have orange caps. And the chemicals are inside in little capsules and they're color coded. So you got the orange chemicals going with the orange cap. So let's go ahead and do a test. Let me show you how to prepare a soil sample so we can do the nutrient tests. First thing you want to do is move away any mulch because that's going to get in the way. Now I'm going to remove about two inches of the top soil. We don't want to measure that. We want to measure where the roots are. So let's get rid of the top two inches and then we'll use the soil below that. All right, get yourself a container and just get a shovel full of soil. Now you can just measure one spot if you like, but it's a good idea to take a couple different spots and then mix them together. So I'll get another three shovelfuls of soil, put them in the pail here, then I'll mix it up really well. Take out any stones that you see or any uh, pieces of plant material, get rid of those. Once it's all mixed well, then we can use this to prepare our soil sample. And I'll show you how to do that next. In order to use this test, you have to extract the nutrients from the soil by using some water. To get started, use your fingers to crumble the soil and remove any stones and organic matter. Then mix the soil really well. Now take a clear jar and add one cup of soil to it. Then add five cups of distilled water. If you don't have that, use rainwater. Don't use tap or bottled drinking water since they contain their own nutrients and will contaminate the sample. Shake the jar for a couple minutes to break apart the clumps of soil. Then let it sit so the soil settles. For sandy soil, this could take an hour, but for soils that contain clay, it can take much longer. It's best to just let it sit for 24 hours. If after 24 hours you still have a very cloudy solution, try adding a few crystals of sodium chloride, table salt, and this should help the clay settle to the bottom. To do the test, take one of the vials and fill it up with your water up to the top line. Now take the capsule that matches the same color as the cap and empty all the chemicals into the vial. Put the cap back on. Give it a real good shake. And let it sit for 10 minutes. Now go ahead and do the other tests. After the color is fully developed, hold the tubes up against the color chart that's provided in the kit. Locate the color patch that is closest to the sample and that will give you your value. Here's the result of my nitrogen test, which is between medium and high. The test for phosphorus didn't seem to react properly. The chemical never dissolved in the water and no color was formed. If I had to guess, it's very low, but I don't think this test really worked. The result for potassium is very low. I'm not sure what to make of the pH test. The color of the solution is blue, but that does not match the color patches. 
This demonstrates one of the problems with this type of kit. It can be very hard to match colors. The McKenzie Home Kit and the lab test use different words to describe the level of nutrients. So I've simplified things and we'll use the terms low, medium, and high. Here are the results. The first thing you will notice is that the lab test does not have a value for nitrogen. This is quite common. Nitrogen levels change very quickly, so labs normally don't measure for this. You can get a nitrogen test, but it does cost extra. Measuring nitrogen is an advantage of the home test kits, but there is a limitation. The test only measures nitrate and not ammonium, nitrite, or even organic nitrogen. Plants can use both nitrate and ammonium, and it is important to measure both. The second thing you might notice is that the McKenzie test only gives you a range for the nutrient level, using terms like low or high. The lab test gives you actual concentration numbers in parts per million. You can see that the test kit and the lab agree on the phosphorus results, but they don't agree on the potassium results. If you follow the test kit results, you would add more potassium to the garden, but the lab test shows that the garden already has plenty of potassium. I am quite confident that the lab tests are correct. They use much better equipment and are regulated for accuracy. They use an ICP instrument for potassium, which is very accurate. Their results also mirror the ones I got in 2016. The McKenzie Soil Kit is very easy to use. It's cheaper than a lab test, but more expensive than competitive products on a per test basis. It does give you nitrogen levels that you won't get from a normal lab test. It's more convenient since you don't have to send your sample to the lab and wait for results. I think this type of kit is great for checking your soil to get an approximate understanding of nutrient levels, but I would be careful using them to determine your fertilizer needs, which should be based on numeric parts per million values. I've made several other soil testing videos, and you can see the full list by clicking on the playlist in the top right-hand corner. If you're interested in learning more about increasing the health of your soil, click on the link to my new book, Soil Science for Gardeners.